hello you guys welcome back to the video here it is finally we are here at the empty apartment tour so that right there is our doorbell and also where we can see you on the inside of the apartment when you ring the doorbell so we can see who it is that is visiting us and then down here is the keypad where we put in our code to get in our door there is not a key that you put into a lock you have to slide this up punch in your number and then you slide it back down and you open the door so this is our foyer as you can see it's already full of shoes <laughs> but this is the foyer and down to the right uh is the beginning of the shoe closets where we have our shoes and umbrellas and things of that nature things that we need to quickly be able to get out of the house with and it has hooks inside unfortunately uh, these aren't great for adults needing to hang their coats. So we have to get some kind of coat rack to go out here that's that won't be in the way. Um, but the kids are able to put their coats inside. Here are the uh, larger shoe closets. Um, and they don't really, as you can see, like it's mainly just for shoes. The other closet, you may be able to put a couple coats in if you put some hooks in. But yeah. So when you walk in through the door, here is the entrance into the apartment. Ta-da, I love that view. And this is the full-size bathroom for the girls. No, it does not have a tub, but that is okay because you will see as we progress through the apartment tour. Here is the bedroom for the girls. Hey, babies. I love the open airiness of it. I love that even though it's like dark floors, the uh, walls are, um, you know, a bright color and that they have a nice size window to let light in. That's the AC that you see up there on the wall. And if you remember from my other apartment tour videos, the AC was very important to me as well as having these big windows and having um, a nice closet. And I believe every room except for one has an air conditioning. So that's pretty amazing. Here is their full size closet and it is a walk in closet look at all of this room like i actually would love to have their closet it is so spacious next up we have their playroom another nice size room with large windows and that's the ac of course it does not have a closet so that just made it a no-brainer that this would be their playroom now i'm going to take you into the homeschool room AKA the office, the study room, where everyone can come and read and study and do those things. It does not have a closet. So again, another no brainer that this would be the homeschool room. It does have a window. I love all the windows in this apartment and the room is pretty huge. Next is the balcony that is off of the master bedroom. It's a very nice balcony, very spacious, enough for us to store our suitcases and all of that and it has these storage closets as well. Um, I can't wait to get a table and chairs for out there so that, you know, in the morning we can relax and have coffee and chit chat. We don't have that just yet for out there, but I am looking forward to getting those items. It is taking us a long time to sell into this apartment, I'm just gonna be honest, but I'm gonna make it happen before April. That is my goal. So off of the balcony, you come into the master bedroom. Here you go, nice and spacious, nothing to complain about. I actually really love the walls in there. And then you come out here to the vanity. The vanity area is in between the closet and the master bathroom. Over here, you have a nice walk-in closet. Um, the size is decent, but like I said, I think the girls had definitely have the better closet size. And then over here, you have the master bathroom, which I am absolutely in love with. It is huge. Um, I'm not used to sharing a bathroom in our house. I had my own bathroom and hubby shared with the girls. But here I share with him and the bathroom is huge. 
here we have the tub so we can bathe the girls and it's a nice size tub and it's a jetted tub okay so mm, that's even better for me i put my candles out there have a nice little spa bath love it now i'm going to take you into the kitchen it is a very nice size kitchen it has a little slide away door that we never use <laughs> I just showed it to you for the purpose of this video, but we actually never ever use that sliding door. It's, I mean, it's cute, but we just really don't have a reason for it since the kitchen is pretty much open. The kitchen and the living room are open. So this is the water filter that we use and they come to switch out the filter every uh, six months. That was the dishwasher. Huge, huge sink, okay? Very nice counter space. And I love, 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 love this stove range. Oh, look at all those cabinets. Amazing. But the stove, I love the stove range. I do not like the oven because the oven is still super duper small as you will see. But there is a lot of cooking space on the stove and I really do appreciate um, that. So there you go, there's our baby oven. <laughs> I would love to have a, another oven, um, like a countertop type oven deal because oh, this oven is killing me softly with uh, cooking and baking. So here we have our island with more cabinet space. Here is one of those TVs that they have in the kitchens here where you can play the radio, you can see some Korean TV channels, and you can also see if anyone is at the door. And I really like that. So if anyone rings the doorbell, I can let them know that I'm on my way to let them in. So from right here, I'm going to show you um, the space that we have for our microwave. Over here, we have two refrigerators, two freezers and here is the spot that we have where we will put our microwave once we get a korean microwave right now we have an american one so it can't go in that outlet and above that we have more storage space more cabinet space and below that we have more cabinet space and we already have that filled to the brim <laughs> And here we have our fridge. It has a drink door, which I love and we utilize all the time. We have the girls drinks in there and any drinks that we like to have accessible to us quickly, we put in there and here is the fridge. I really like our fridge. It's spacious, it definitely does the job. And then this is our freezer. Our ice trays, our shelves, we never have this full. <laughs> but it's nice and spacious. Uh, those are the temperatures that we can adjust the fridge and in the freezer. Here's our second fridge, which we usually keep for food that we need to toss out um, because they have a separate food trash here. So we keep food in that one that we need to toss. And then that freezer is where I usually keep like our meats. So back here off of the kitchen, we have our kimchi kitchen and our laundry room. So the kimchi kitchen is where they have like a little stove and they have another refrigerator right underneath the uh, stove for, I use it for storing vegetables. Um, and the kimchi kitchen is usually where you go cook your stinky food. Sometimes I remember to use it, sometimes I don't. Um, it has a window right above it that you can open. You also need to use this window. Um, you have to open this window to vent out your dryer when you are drying clothes. Um, I sometimes cook like kale back here or fish and then a lot of times I just forget to even do that. So hmm, there's that. There are the two drawers for your vegetables. And there is your sink to the right for w whatever you want to use it for. If you want to use it to clean food, if you want to use it to soak your laundry, whichever one you choose. I use it to, for soaking laundry um, and getting stains out of things. Here's our baby washer. <laughs> Oh, this washer's killing me softly because it takes like three loads to do what should be one load. Um, but yeah, there's the baby Korean washer. But we do now have a dryer that we borrowed from base for uh, the, the space right here where the clothes drying rack is. So that's a blessing. So I usually just wash like three loads and then throw all three loads into the dryer to dry. 
And then um, that's also where we control like the heating for the floor and all of that, the boiler basically. And then here is the balcony that is off of the living room. And this is basically Pepper's room. Um, this is where we have his litter and uh, where we store bikes and things like that. And this area is where we have more storage and also where we have uh, everything that has to do with the AC. So it has a little window back there too that we have to keep open during the summertime whenever we're running the AC. But yeah, so that's that. And we keep our fans and uh, vacuum cleaner and all that jazz back in that area. And coming off of that balcony area, this is where you enter the living room. And that's our dining space right there where we could put a dining table. But this is our living room. Huge, huge windows. Love it. And look at that the view i feel like we have a little bit of a city view just a tiny bit of a city view because this isn't like the downtown city view but it's still a nice view and we have those mountains which i love um those shades needed to be fixed they're fixed now so i couldn't pull those up but they're fixed. this screen this is where we can see you if you're trying to buzz into the building and we can let you in but if you ring the doorbell like johanna is about to i have to actually go let you in but i can talk to you to let you know i'm coming here is where we can control the heat in all of the rooms and we can also control them from within the rooms too. The, heat, the apartment is heated through the floor. There are boilers and pipes or whatever in the floor. And um, here up here is where the AC is and where it blows into the living room. And that, my friends, is the end of the apartment tour. I hope it was worth the wait. Um, if you're PCSing to Daegu, I hope that these videos were very useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.